Hello, you guys. Why is this not focusing? There we go. I am on my lunch. Of course, just had to come on here because I'm trying to kick out as many videos as I can. And I want to talk about something. I guess if I can't journal, then this is what I will be doing in place of journaling. So, my thing is this. I have an issue with people trying to play you for someone dumb. Yeah. And you're trying to do your job, but you're only limited to a certain degree because the powers that be won't allow you to function 100%. If that makes sense. So, unfortunately, with property management, sometimes you um, are at the mercy of someone else, even though they're the ones footing the bill we still have to have permission and when we get that permission we expect for them to you know hold true on their end and back us up all the way and when that is not given to you and it comes back on you and they don't have your best interest or your back it'll throw you for a loop does that make sense and nine times out of ten, you will come out of character. Because you're working based off of integrity. And when someone almost makes it seem as though you are not working in that playing field. And they even question your job and your abilities. That makes it even worse. Whereas to say, you could have said, I'm sorry, I dropped the ball, whatever the case may be. I see and I understand that if I had the, the, the capabilities to be my own boss, I would do that in a heartbeat. Um, I didn't think that I would probably work for someone else again, but unfortunately, you know, um, I'm using my job to fund my business or I would like or I would at least hope to hope that to be the case um right now I'm clocking in and out I'm taking lunch taking my vacations you know and spending my money wisely so that I can build what it is I'm dreaming about building but sometimes, like I was saying on yesterday, sometimes things and people get in the way of your dream. And you should not allow that to discourage you. Although sometimes it makes it impossible for you to push through um, and you hold true to the game at all costs. But still continue on the path of pursuing your dream no matter what. I try to make sure that I'm respectful, but at the same time, I'm truthful. And sometimes the truth hurts, and sometimes people cannot handle the truth. There's where, That's where tact comes into play at. I'm not going to cuss you out, but I'm going to let you know that I'm disappointed in how you're handling the situation or handling me or portraying me to other people. I don't like that because for me, I am a hard worker. That's one thing that I can say I take pride in. Um, when I put my name on something, I stand by it. And that's another reason why it's hard for me to delegate. I cannot give something to someone else and feel 100% comfortable, trust in them to do the job well without me having to go back and try to make sure that it was done to my liking or to my standards 
because if I do it myself, I know that it was done right. But when you're a manager, you can't do that. You have to learn to delegate and you have to learn to trust other people. So I can't expect to go and fix a plumbing issue when I don't have the skills from the jump to do that. So guess what? I have to trust my maintenance to do the job that I can't do. And for someone that's an alpha female, um, that's very difficult. So I'm learning that myself and then try not to be impatient because I can be a little bit impatient and I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. And then at the same time, I expect stuff to be done like right then and there. Like don't him hawing around and here we are. I don't like that myself. And there are times where I might get too busy and my focus is to do X, Y, Z today and I probably don't even touch it. So that messes me up. But I try not to take my work home with me, and I try not to work through my lunch. I I rarely do that anyway, and especially when I'm working with other people that don't mind that, I try not to follow suit. So, um, with that being said, it's, it's still difficult for me to delegate, but it's important that I, you, and anyone else do that. It'll, it'll save you a lot of stress. It'll save you a lot of anxiety. It'll save you a lot of paperwork. Um, it's just like someone up at the front desk. If I teach them how to answer the phone properly, then guess what? That'll relieve me from answering the phone so that that time can be used up for other things that are more important. So it's very important to learn delegation. Very important. It, it, um, they, they have this saying says teamwork makes the dream work. And that's actually true. Um, it's unfortunate that sometimes people that are part of the team, they don't um, like to do their fair share of work. But that's where it comes into play where it falls on everyone else. And we all must pull together and that person that's a slacker will get the credit as well. Um, for me, it's never about money, but when it comes to building a business and doing what it is that I need to do, as far as paying my bills, we need money. We need money. We all need money. We need money to live off of. Um, I do know that God will provide and he will meet my every need, but at the same time, he allows us to walk into these doors where we will have to work nine to five. You know, a lot of us was not born with a silver spoon in our mouth. We have to work. And um, I'm not going to say I wish I was married to a prince because even if I was married to someone that is rich or well off, I still wouldn't feel right, you know, in my mind, spending their money. I still want to work because there are certain things that I want to do. And we must be good stewards over what our hands touch. So um, I'll never say that, even though sometimes I'd be like, man, I wish I had some help if I was married. You know, I would have some help with these bills, but I never want to have that mentality to where I have to depend on someone to take care of me. That in itself, I mean, if it happens, cool. If not, I know me. I wouldn't want to rely on someone to help me. But anyways, I think I got through my first video without having to take a break or having a phone call coming in. And um, I'm done. And you won't see me come back on here in a whole different outfit so or fit out, however you want to say it. But you guys be blessed. Today is hump day. Take the day with ease and stride. Carpe diem. Seize the moment. Seize the day. Seize your time, make your mark, and make it count. That's it, that's all. God bless.